I'm about to document how I set up the Blackmagic A10 Mini to switch between two cameras and one computer display for a live projection to an external monitor. First, let's plug in the power supply. Let's turn it on. There is no power button on the A10 Mini. Next, I'm going to connect the first camera using the HDMI output. I'm going to put the HDMI output from the camera to the first HDMI input of the A10 Mini. To simulate the size of the event hall, I'm going to stretch a 20 meter HDMI cable from the A10 Mini output to the external monitor. So the long distance HDMI cable goes into the HDMI output of the A10 Mini. Immediately you see the camera output on the external monitor, which on the actual situation will be the live projection display screen. Next, let's connect the second camera. This smaller camera output is a mini HDMI. I will plug the other end into the second HDMI input of the A10 Mini. In order to see the difference, let's put camera 1 as the mid-shot camera and camera 2 for wide shot. Now let's do some switching between 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Next, I'm going to use another 20 meter HDMI cable to connect the computer to the A10 Mini because the computer will usually be on the rostrum while I'll be at the back of the hall. For the computer, I'm going to plug into HDMI input number 3. So now the computer display is on input number 3. Okay, from here, you can tell how instantaneous the display is. Not exactly instant, but it's quick. So now we have camera 1, camera 2, computer. And we can switch among each one of them. As you can see, the switching is instantaneous, no delay. That is what we call real-time switching. So far, I've only touched buttons 1, 2 and 3. I will hook up input number 4 to a mirrorless camera in the next video. All these tiny buttons on top are for audio selection and audio level adjustment, which I will cover in the next video. On the right hand side, we have our transition effects and picture-in-picture -picture effects. Let's take a look. Cut simply means straight cut transition. Well, that's all I need for a client gig that requires live projection, like a seminar. When we switch from cut to auto, we get to use these transition effects. They are mix, which is simply dissolve or fade. Then we have dip, which means dip through white. And then there is push, squeeze, left to right wipe, top to bottom wipe. And then we can control the transition duration, 1 second, 2 second, half a second or 1.5 seconds. I prefer 1 second. Then there is picture in picture, just turn it on and select the position. In the next video, I'll expand on this setup for another type of gig that requires live internet streaming, recording, and audio inputs. Click here or the link below to watch that video. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
This is Adrian Lee from VideoLane.com. See you in the next one.